For all those thinking about buying the new Swatch Blanc Pain collaboration watches, don't do it. I'm gonna tell you why. Let's get into it. Yes, and welcome to the Mad Watch Collector Show. I say show, it's more a public broadcast. Yes, Swatch have once again collaborated with a company in the Swatch umbrella to make a huge amount of money again to you guys that fell for it the last time. This show is not aimed at all you Swatch lovers. You know, the true Swatch enthusiasts before the moon Swatch. To you guys, I say congrats. Fill your boots. Over the last 20 years, Swatch have been pretty rubbish, haven't they? And if it wasn't for the Omega collaboration, I think Swatch as a company would have been dead in the water. This show isn't aimed at those horrible, horrible flippers either. Just in the queues around the world to buy the watches to flip them straight away on eBay for more money. I don't want to know you. No, this show is dedicated to all those people that have a fear, fear of, missing of missing out. out. You know, those that feel like they should own one of these watches. I need bio ceramic. You really don't. I didn't fall for the old market employ last time with the Omega Moon Swatch. Yeah, I don't know. It must be up to 16 Moon Swatches now, each with a different colour, different enough to make you want to buy the next one. They even put strawberries on one of the seconds hand. Did you want to buy that one? Those moon swatches are well overpriced by at least 150 pounds. And in the meantime, Swatch haven't seen profits like this since they were blooming founded. Now, Blancpain is a company owned by the Swatch umbrella and they were the first watch company in 1953 to make a proper commercial dive watch. It was the first one to have a dive time ratcheting bezel and loads of brands, including Rolex, have copied its looks in making their own divers throughout the decades. Now, unfortunately, for Blancpain, the latest, most modern 50 Fathoms is a bit of a pig. It looks nothing like the original, plus it's way too big. Not to mention, it's quite a lot of money. So it's no wonder then, Swatch has moseyed on into town with a big bag of bioceramic to lift the sails of one of their company mates. Now, instead of a battery power quartz movement, Swatch has decided to put their System 51 inside these new watches, which is fair enough. The owner of Blancpain did say that none of his watches will ever house a digital or quartz movement inside. They sort of slightly have. The System 51 movement is a machine marvel, made of 51 parts and held together using one screw. It's an automatic movement, which means it has a bi-directional rotor that winds the mainspring. Therefore, just by doing Doing this, you can put power into your watch. However, the System 51 has a bit of a dark side. It's made by robots. Yeah, I'm not sure how I feel about that. But these movements made by ETA have no human intervention. And once the movements are made, they are plonked into a case by a robotic arm and hermetically sealed probably with glue. The System 51 can't be regulated. Also, this movement can't be serviced. And if the case has been hermetically sealed and glued, the only way to get at that movement is to crack it open like an egg, thus destroying your plast, I mean, bioceramic watch. It's disposable. This watch is not meant to be with you for life. For some of you, it might not last four weeks. Now there are five of these watches, all different colors and conveniently a different color or a different shade to any of the 57 moons swatches. And get this, yes firstly they represent an ocean but they also represent a colourful sea slug. <coughs> uh, uh, am I getting that right? So a slow moving slug on the sea just hoovering in sort of particles to feed themselves. What has happened to the dive watch world? What happened to naming dive watches after sharks? You know, fierce and quick things. The Blanc Bain Dolphin. The 50 Fathom Swordfish. No, these watches are celebrating organisms like this. I don't want a watch with that on it. But you are. If you turn the watch around on each case back, you'll see that System 51 rotor and a picture of your beautiful sea slug. Sluggy. To top it all off, Swatch want to charge you £340. Bearing in mind, you can buy a Swatch on Amazon with a System 51 movement for around £120-£130. And remember, like I said, this watch is disposable. If the movement stops working, what do you do? 
Do you take it into swatch? Would they replace it? Would they have enough stock to replace it? And after the warranty, if the watch stops, what happens then? You can't get it serviced, you can't get it fixed. You gotta throw it away. Am I missing something? Are you feeling what I'm feeling? Do swatch think that another group of sheeple are gonna fall for this? Yes, they do. Some people were queuing for hours and still didn't get one of these watches. They're already on eBay, those horrible flippers, charging 700 to 1,000 pounds for these watches. Disposable watches. Can you tell I'm not a fan? Instead, ladies and gentlemen, why don't you put that £340 and buy yourself a watch that's going to last you a long, long time. You could get a Seiko Turtle Tropic Lagoon Special that is diver certified for 200 meters. It's a beautiful watch, something to be proud of. It's colorful and it looks sweet. But I know what some of you are thinking. MWC, it's not Swiss. Why don't you go for the new Tissot PRX? The new digital one. Because <laughs> I've... Uh, no, actually, don't. Don't buy it at all. No, you're better off with a plastic watch. Anything but that digital PRX. <laughs> ha! So sorry about that. This show was just a bit of a rant. If you like the look of these watches, just go ahead and buy one. If you can, just know that in a year's time, you'll be able to get every reference with no trouble. Like what is happening with the moon swatches. But don't feel like you're missing out. You really are not. Fair play to the swatch group. Sales are on blanc pain. This is a blatant marketing tool to put blanc pain in a lot of people's brains that have never heard of the brand before. It's clever, isn't it? But it doesn't mean you should spend your hard-earned cash on these things. Unless you are a true Swatch fan, pre-moon Swatch, fill your boots. I'm not even gonna bother showing these watches to the wife because you'll probably think I've just come out of a toy shop. Thanks for watching till the end and if I've got you for a few more minutes, why don't you click this beast? Go on, click it. It's a great show. Oh, wonderful. Click it. Click it.